Okay, so this is the situation. I've just started off a brand new project. It's just a beat, a bass line, and a vocal sample. So right now it sounds like this. And what I'm gonna show you is a feature within Cubase that will basically allow us to load up any random soft synth, playing any random preset, and within a few seconds, very quickly and very easily shape that sound so that it fits with the other elements of our track. So let me just demonstrate that for you real quick. And you'll notice while I was doing that, I wasn't even looking at the synth that I was using. And to be honest, I don't really even know what parameters it was that I was changing within that synth. So let me just show you what I was doing. And I'll show you how to set that up using the Halion Sonic SE, which is a synth that all Cubase users have. And then we'll finish up by giving you some tips on how to set this up with any soft synth that you might have in your collection. So let's just get into it. So what I've got set up here is the Cubase VST Quick Controls. Now I have made a video previously on the track Quick Controls, which you can watch using the link up here. And for whatever reason, I've never really used the VST Quick Controls up until now. Now you can access them by going to the right hand pane here and clicking on this drop down menu here. And if I open up the synth that I was using, Analog Lab V, what we can see is that these dials here are corresponding to the macro controls down here. Okay, so the reason I wanted to show you using Analog Lab V is because Plugin Boutique are right now in February 2022, giving away the light version for free with any purchase. So check out my link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, which means if you click on it, you are supporting the channel. So go check that out if you feel so inclined. So like I say, you can just control these with your mouse. But if you are lucky enough to have a controller, let me show you how to set it up. So we're gonna to go to Studio, Studio Setup, and under Remote Devices, gonna to go to VST Quick Controls. Under the MIDI input, select your controller. Not entirely sure whether or not you need to set up a MIDI output, but I have anyway, which is again my controller. And then you just want to highlight the first quick control, select learn, and then just move any rotary control or fader that you want to be associated with that quick control. And then just do that for all eight of the quick controls. And then once you've done that, just uncheck learn and click OK. And then whenever you open up Cubase, your controller will be associated with these controls. There is one other option, which is pickup mode. And what we can see here is this quick control is at about 10 o'clock. And what that means is if you were to move your rotary control, it wouldn't move until you hit 10 o'clock on your rotary control. I like to have it unchecked, which just means that the Quick control will move instantly as soon as I move a controller. So once that's set up within your hardware, let me show you how to set it up within a synth. Like I say, I'm going to use a Halion Sonic SE. So I'm just going to create a new instance. And let's just load up a preset. Let's choose one of these synth comps. And let's just go to the first one. Let's minimize this and let's go down to our Halion Sonic page here. And what I'm going to do is right click and go to Remote Control Editor. And that's going to bring up this page here. Now, by default, there will already be things assigned to your quick controls. And that'll be the case for pretty much every plugin that you load up. But let's just set this up from scratch. So I'm going to click on these minus buttons. just to remove the defaults and then just move Halion Sonic over so we can see the plugin at the same time as this page. 
And what I want is for these eight macro controls to be controlled by my eight quick controls. To do that, I'm going to click on Learn. You see the first one is highlighted here, and then I'm just going to move the first macro control. Let's get the second one. Hit the second macro control, so on and so forth. You only need to set this up once, and every time you open up Cubase, these settings will be recalled on each new project. And then I'm just going to label these. And then hit apply. Let's close this, copy this MIDI down onto this new track. And let's see what we have. Let me set this up where the synth that doesn't have macro controls. And as I say that, I can see that there are actually four macro controls at the bottom of this one, but let's not worry about that. So the first thing I want to say is you'll notice that the track quick controls by default will be the same as the VST quick controls. Now I like to have different things over here in my track quick controls. So I like to have control over the gain and EQ on my channel. So if I set up my EQ of choice on the insert, you can see that I have these presets set up. So a pre-gain as well as three band EQ and a high pass filter. So let's set this up as I would tend to set up any synth. And you can see I've actually already set this one up. And this is my generic setup for pretty much every synth. So I have my first one. Let's move this down so we can see. First one as my filter cut off. The second one is my resonance. Third one is the filter envelope. Next one, LFO. And then I just have my AD, S, and R set up down here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there for now. If you made it this far through the video, I really, really appreciate you and thank you for all your support. If you do want to support me any further, however, I have a Patreon page, link in the description below. Right now for my Patreons, I do have some special deals going on some Arturia software that you probably won't find anywhere else as Arturia have just set up shop over here in Hong Kong and I am going to be working with them going forward. If you've liked what you've watched, maybe check out this video here or don't, I can't tell you what to do. What I can tell you to do though is go make some music. Uh, I've been Craig Lopez. This has been Tutorialism. Peace.